What's up guys, this is Galaxy Stream here. It's been a really long time, but probably back at it doing videos. Thanks to everyone for just sticking around. First one off, we'll go ahead and I'll do a recap. My signature deck, Fire Kings. Uh, I've been working on it. A couple people know what's been going on. But uh, this deck is very more, a lot more powerful, especially with the extra deck. And then we're gonna go into some other decks. I know a video up coming up is gonna be just tech choices and combo pieces for upcoming futures. So we'll go straight into the deck profile. This one is a lot more monster heavy, but it's it's very, very needed. So first things first, the main Fire King engine. You're looking at your two Grunix, your three Aksha, and your three Barong. Then you've got your support, the double Wolf Park and the one Bear. And normally I always have like one additional card as like a tech card. This time it's, the, this card, like, it shouldn't be this price, but I mean, it's definitely worth in the double digits. Uh, triple Jargado. This card, like, I've never wanted to, like, see a card more in my hand than this card. This card has ridiculous amounts of plays, ridiculous amounts of combos. You, I mean, it mitigates oh, so many bad hands. And the fact that you get to gain life points back, because the way this deck works is, you're probably, it's, it's kind of a chip game where you're gonna have to kind of pick and choose when you're gonna take damage and being able to just be like, it's just special summon to gain a thousand and just take a hit is really, really, really big. And especially against the Necroz matchup too, where if you're feeling, uh, trying to fear, uh, feel out a Necroz uh, Valkyrus, you can just swing in with the with the Jirigato and if they do have to activate it, you can distribute itself off. So, definitely helps heaven for the four rank engine. That's kind of the whole point of this. Uh, definitely, definitely one of the greatest additions and one of the best cards. One of my favorite cards actually been ever made. Uh, accelerator button, triple onslaught, double circle. That hasn't changed. Next, you get your triple tanky. There is no more upstarts in this build. Basically, instead of seeing an upstart, which would be seeing the next card. I wanted to be seeing Jorgato. So that's the thought process behind that. And then the one up the power one of you have Rekindling, Raigeki, Dark Hole, and a new re edition is Book of Moon again. Just because I, I feel personally that BA is gonna be a big card and you just need to force Cosmos out to like use their effects and just get off the field. So you just can't take damage against that deck. So Book of Moon definitely comes in as just an additional additional card to use. And then the last two spells are just MSTs. Uh, traps, the one warning, bottomless, torrential, ring, vanities, and nightmare. Just for me, I mean, really standard. This, as long as night cards are still running around, I'm gonna play this card because torrential is a thing. And then um, triple mirror force, double breakthrough, still very very good. And then just one of mind crush. And Mind Crush is just there because the format's still new. It's still transitioning over. Uh, it hasn't fully gone. So it's still a powerful card. What I will see in the future once the Trap Church or Fesslia Xyz comes out is this will be a, uh, this card will be a time space. On to the sideboard. Sideboard, very up in the air, so it's just very generic. Uh, triple Maxi. Double Ghost Over Snow Rabbit. Double shared ride, the third MST, two mistake, two imperial, and last is just triple fairy wind. And then to round it off, the extra deck. Extra deck is by far the most important thing of this deck, and it's it's what's going to win you games. I mean, there's really like, it's very tight because there's so many more cards I want to put in it, but I can't, especially with the loss of the bobble chain. It definitely crippled the deck a little bit. So you have your one number 80, your number 52 Diamond Crab King. This is your out to towers. Ptolemaeus, honestly one of the most go-to cards now in this deck. Because basically when you don't have another four rank play, you just make him. Uh, Cowboy and Dweller for the first five. Next five you've got Emerald, Excited Knight, Castell, Giant Hand, and 101. And then the last five are Brotherhood, uh, Tiger King, Dark Rebellion, Exceed Dragon, Kagasuchi. And then the last two are the five ranks, Pleiades and 
diamond. So this is why he's the most important because you have access to making a hand trap. Like this is why the deck is, these two are probably the biggest because if you are running out of defenses, these two cards are built in defense. And because that's what Jarogator does, it makes multiple four ranks. Um, I can get in another video of combos, I will show you how you can actually make both of these cards or potentially at least this and one additional full rank in the same turn. So that's for another later video guys. This was Galaxy Stream. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe, share this video if you like it. You'll be seeing me at Indian, uh, Indianapolis in a couple weeks. You'll be seeing me at YCS Dallas. Definitely come find me and stay there. I'll be with, the, with a lot of the team. And I'll be, I've got one or two more events already planned and set the books. So I'll be seeing you guys there. This is Galaxy Stream. You have a good night, guys.